Welcome to the Exemplar's Tour of Problem Solving for the 21st Century, built for the Common Core. This online program offers open-ended problem-solving tasks for grades K through 5 that have been uniquely developed for the Common Core. Let's start our tour by reviewing grade 3. Each grade in this program has its own landing page and resource documents. Tasks are organized according to the Common Core domains. Rubrics are an important component of exemplars. Our assessment rubric and student rubrics may be accessed here as well as on each task. To help teachers get started with problem solving, Exemplars offers a series of resources that may be accessed here. Exemplars also offers an interactive scoring tutorial to help teachers hone their assessment skills using the Exemplars rubric. Let's look at the Common Core domain Operations and Algebraic Thinking for Grade 3. The standards and substandards associated with this domain are listed here. Definitions for each are also provided. To find tasks associated with a particular standard or substandard, select the blue Explore button. Let's look at the standard 3.0a.a.1. All of the tasks aligned to this standard are listed on this page. A brief description of each task is also provided. Exemplars provides educators with a series of instructional, formative assessment tasks that can be used to introduce or explore math concepts. Corresponding summative assessments are also provided. These tasks are designed to evaluate if a student meets the standard. Anchor papers and scoring rationales are included with each of the tasks. By changing the criteria in this box, users can search for other tasks according to the Common Core domain or content standard. Let's look at the formative assessment task, pom-poms. Instructional tasks are intended to be used as opportunities for students to learn new mathematical strategies, language, and representations. They may also be done in pairs, groups, or as a whole class. Direct instruction may be used to question and support classroom discussion around the underlying math concept. Depending on a teacher's objective, these tasks may also be used for formative assessment. The Common Core domain and content standard associated with each task is noted in the yellow box. Each task is aligned to the Common Core standards for mathematical practice. A complete definition of each standard can be viewed by clicking on the corresponding links. To meet individual student needs, these tasks are differentiated at three entry points. Each problem includes a more accessible and a more challenging version. Each version features its own printer-friendly overhead, making it easy to hand out in class. The task-specific evidence provides an overview of what students are expected to do in order to solve the problem. The underlying mathematical concepts found in each task, as well as the problem-solving strategies, mathematical vocabulary, and symbolic representation are also included. Possible solutions are provided as well as examples of mathematical connections. All of this information may be accessed at a glance for teachers on the printer-friendly preliminary planning sheet. The printer-friendly version of Exemplar's assessment rubric can be accessed here. This may be used in combination with the preliminary planning sheet as a tool for formative assessment. A more detailed explanation of our rubrics will follow in our review of a summative assessment task. Now let's look at the summative assessment task for 3.OA.A.1. Exemplar summative assessment problems are designed to evaluate if the student meets the standard. These tasks include the same components as the instructional formative assessment tasks, with two exceptions. They include student anchor papers and scoring rationales, and are not differentiated. Summative assessment tasks feature samples of student work and scoring rationales at the four performance levels of Exemplar's assessment rubric novice, apprentice, practitioner which meets the standard, and expert. These tools demonstrate for teachers what work meets and does not meet the Common Core standards and explains why. The scoring rationales describe why each piece of student work is assessed at the specific performance level for each of the Exemplar's rubric criterion. In many cases, there is more than one anchor paper associated with a level of performance. These are intended to demonstrate different strategies a student might use or different misconceptions a student may have. 
Anchor Papers and Rationales are designed to provide guidelines and support for teachers as they assess their students' performance in problem solving. These are also a valuable staff development tool. Additionally, these resources may be used with students as a basis for self and peer assessment. They are particularly useful in providing students with examples of what work meets the standard and why. A printer-friendly version of these may be accessed here. A printer-friendly version of the exemplars assessment rubric may be accessed here. Exemplars rubric criteria reflect the common core standards for mathematical practice and the NCTM process standards. Teachers use our assessment rubric to assess student work. There are four levels of performance, novice, apprentice, practitioner, which meets the standard, and expert. Our scoring rubric allows teachers to examine student work against a set of analytic criteria to determine student performance. This assessment tool is designed to identify what is important, define what meets the standard, and distinguish between different levels of performance. Exemplars also provides a rubric for students that features kid-friendly language and images. This may also be used for self and peer assessment. To sign up for a free trial, please visit exemplars.com slash products slash math slash PSCC.